materials the world is made of by Ivan Amato. This one was written in the late 90s or something, 1997, I think, and I, I bought, a, bought it right off, right as soon as it was printed. And I was living, I was living in Korea at the time, and I wrote to the writer, I emailed to the writer, and email wasn't that, not everyone even had email, but uh, I remember. And he wrote back, and it was very exciting to me to write to a real, a real author. And he seemed kind of excited too. He was like, what, you're in Korea and you read my book? This is amazing. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm playing that story. Okay, so this is a hardback uh, book. Here's the dust jacket. This is nonfiction. It is about the materials the world is made of. So it's about materials. Um, that is all, all the stuff that people have made to do the things that they want to do. From vulcanized rubber to plastics to, I mean, to, to everything. I found it absolutely fascinating. I, I don't know why this book didn't get more attention because I thought it was so interesting and well-written and just well done throughout. So the, as an object here, the pages are really nice and thick. It's good. It's good production quality here. Um, it's there. The images are black and white, as you can see. But, uh, so, you know, it's not, it's not a beautiful, beautiful book, but there are plenty of kind of interesting images here to help show what he's talking about. These are atoms that have been manipulated to, you know, to look a certain way. Uh, the, this means atom. I, I just found it really interesting. Again, it was one of those things where I say again, <laughs> but I haven't said it yet in this video, but it is true in my life that sometimes I have picked up things that I, I pick them up because I don't know anything about them and I, and I want to learn about them. And sometimes that fails me because the result is not very interesting to me. But oftentimes it, it isn't like that. And it's really interesting to me. This is bound in this nice cloth, quarter bound in cloth and then paper sides. And this is one of the cases when it was very interesting to me. Not that it started me on a voyage of discovery about materials or anything, but this book uh, it, on its own, scratched an itch that I didn't know I had. I found it really fascinating. I'm not even sure if this is still in print, but, and maybe some of the stuff that he talks about is, is out of date. Of course, they would have come up with lots more materials since 1997, but a lot of it is the same and a lot of the history of it is the same. I really liked it. Ivan Amato, Stuff.